we're excited to welcome Jay Baruchel for the first time to the Whistler Film Festival. Now, this is your first time to Whistler, but this is not the first time that Whistlerites have seen you on the screen at the Whistler <laughs> Film Festival. Yeah, this uh, again, I'm very honored to finally be here in flesh and blood. And this is a really special year uh, because the festival is going to be paying tribute to your career. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how do you feel to be uh, listed among a past tribute honorees such as Adam E. Goyen, Donald Sutherland? Yeah. It's uh, uh, mind-boggling. It's just crazy I, uh, um, uh, to be even mentioned in the same sentence as those, those these are leviathans. Uh, so to be mentioned alongside them, and even if someone is like, there are actors, Donald Sutherland and Jay Bear, uh, that would be an honor. But the fact <laughs> that we're, you know, being, there's like a tribute thing, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm so humbled. You have an incredible resume yourself. Million Dollar Baby, Tropic Thunder, Knocked Up, She's Out of My League, How to Train Your Dragon, one of my personal favorites. Oh, and uh, out of all of them, what has been your most rewarding uh, role over the years? That's a good, very good question. Uh, um, uh, it, it's probably a three-way toss-up uh, uh, between uh, uh, a movie called The Trotsky, uh, a movie called Real Time, and a movie, and then How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, um, because of uh, how proud I am of the finished product and, and, and how much these movies mean to the people that dig them. And uh, uh, to be involved in any way uh, is a huge honor for me. Um, so yeah, acting-wise, those would be my three most rewarding roles. Yeah. Well, what I'm really excited to talk to you about today is your screenplays, your writing, and um, two of them I'm particularly really interested in, uh, both sports themed. And I read uh, that you described yourself in the past as a little bit dorky and yeah. maybe not quite the jock type, but yeah. you're, you know, writing these sports films. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I thought I'd help beef you up a little <laughs> bit <laughs> with some uh, local gelato. Fantastic. My mother thanks you. Excellent, excellent. And I thought it might be kind of fun also in light of uh, one of your projects that you're working on, uh, baseball. Yes. Italian gelato. Yes. It's made locally here That's in Whistler. Fantastic. But I thought we'd start out with the uh, real Canadian maple pecan oh, so that lovely. we can talk about goon. Yes. Obviously Canadian. Yes. Hockey. Oh, amazing. How would you describe the film? Uh, um, well, I would describe the. Well, let me just eat this first, please. <laughs> really passionate That's incredible. Person. Wow. <laughs> that is really. Lucia gelato. Oh, amazing. That's just, I, I, for what it's worth, I endorse this. I'm excited about Goon. I had a chance to look at the trailer. Oh my goodness, the blood, the punching, so much fun. Is this what hockey is for you? A part of it. We focused on uh, one aspect of it, you know. Uh, um, for my money, the least understood, most maligned position in professional sports is that of the hockey enforcer. And so we thought they, desired, they deserved their moment in the sun. Now, I'm really curious. Goon started out as a book. What was it like? transferring that book and, and making it into a screenplay? Um, well, our job was to try to take the, 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 the ingredients and, and uh, the strongest themes in it and, and repurpose it into, into a fictional narrative. Um, so it, it, was, it, was our, um, it was our inspiration. And, uh, and Doug Smith, the real goon, you know, he, 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 there's a lot of him in Doug. Uh, Doug Smith's far more intelligent than our Doug. I read in one of your interviews that your passion for writing actually came before acting. Oh, yeah. and I was amazed because it said that you started acting when you were 12, yeah. 12 years old. And it sort of made me think of what, what was the first instigator about writing that inspired you and how old were you? Uh, I, well, I was, I was seven when I started writing short stories. Uh, um, and then when I was like eight or so, I was in a short story I wrote when I was in grade three was in some uh, uh, it was like some like uh, it was a young writers uh, competition, and my teacher submitted me, and I was like one of the finalists. Um, so I've always I've written as long as I've known how to write word letters, um, and and even when I started acting, you know, my mother said, you know, you want to write and direct movies. This is the best film school you could ever go to. And uh, so yeah, even when I started at twelve, it was. Um, I was just a sponge, soaking up as much uh, about movies as I possibly could. You've got a lot going on. Um, also, uh, you just wrapped up production on David Cronenberg's uh, Cosmopolis. What was it like working with him? For me, it marked the, the chance to get to hang out with one of my heroes, um, because the man has been an absolute idol um, and inspiration for me uh, uh, since I was a kid. And um, like Videodrome is one of my favorite films of all time. So when they said, you want to do two days on the new Cronenberg, uh, I was like, yes. They're like, well, don't don't you want to read it? And I said, I, I don't need to, as long as I get to hang out with him for two days. So I, I just, you know, went to Toronto for two days and talked the ear off of one of my heroes. 
So do you think acting and writing, is it something that you're always going to have your hands in both? Um, I, I, I ideally would, I, acting is, is pretty trying on my psyche and it forces me to be out in public and have people stare at me and all that and, and I, 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 I much prefer being able to just put on a hoodie and type. Uh, so, so um, no, and, and, and I'm much more interested in, in being my fiance's stage parent and being able to be there, when, you know, and, and follow her around, which is what I've been doing. So yeah, I, I prefer the writing, I think. Wonderful. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, Jay Baruchel, he's here at the Whistler Film Festival. And uh, if you want to look out for his movie, Goon, it'll be coming out into uh, theaters in February. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having Congratulations. me. Congratulations. And so uh, do you have a favorite or do you want to try here, the third? Yeah, I got to try the third here. Espre two, 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 two Tony's Espresso. Here we go. Um, that's the best one. The best one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy two smoke. kicks of espresso, not just one. <laughs> I, I'm not going to sleep for weeks now. This I'll is get crazy. You a, at least a 12-hour writing soon, right? Oh God, no <laughs> kidding. And a girl. Thank you.